we are used, we have a culture of consumption, which is uh, very, uh, very excessive. We demand in excess of what the planet is able to renew, but we mainly demand in excess of what we need in order to have a well-being derived from consu consumption. Uh, we went so far beyond on that, that uh, uh, we could say that uh, today's society uh, is a consumption society in the sense that consumption is the center of life of people. People live to consume, they don't consume to live. And uh, that's a tremendous change in paradigm, which means on the one side to show the impacts of the acts of consumption to each individual consumer and to induce these consumers to change their behaviors because they will impact individually very much the environment and the society. On the other side, it is to put something in place of consumption in the lives of people. And that's even more uh, challenging because people got used to live to consume. When you take consumption out, they feel this emptiness, let's say. And, um, and this uh, is so important in the lives of people because consumption society is not being able to respond to, uh, to, for, uh, to people in the sense of uh, having a good sense in their lives, to make sense out of their lives. Consumption is not the answer for that. The answer for that comes from expressing emotions, uh, uh, having bonds, uh, human bonds in friendship, in love, uh, being able to express in words or in painting through art what we feel, uh, to be able to, uh, to think about life and to be in contact with other people who have the same vision for the world, to be able to uh, uh, contribute to the development of a society which is really human. A uh, change of behavior means a change of culture. Go away from a consumption society is something that takes a generation to happen. So this will happen step by step. Other things will be provided in this new society, things which are related more to leisure, to uh, to uh, arts, uh, things which are necessary also for people to quote-unquote consume in their own relations and their own expression of affection and love. So capitalism will be different in the sense that it will not be so aggressive, probably it will not be so uh, inhumanely competitive, but it will continue to be competitive, it will continue to be aggressive, but more balanced in the masculine values and feminine values. Today we have a capitalism which is totally masculine. Aggressiveness, competitiveness, objectiveness, rationality, this is all masculine. We'll go to a society in which there will be a better balance with feminine values of affection, subjectiveness, intuition, uh, cooperation, which are necessary for people to live a good life and to feel comfortable in the lives they live. So it is a change in the in society.